What's up, guys? So if you uh, saw the other video, or this might be the first one, that one will be the second one. So uh, either way, I'm going to I'm gonna have to drill these out just a little bit more. This is a very thick strap. And then that little bend in there always plays a, a nice little role. And if I unbend this, make it a little straight, it will definitely take the black off there. So I don't know that I want to do that. But, so whomever's getting this... I would suggest just uh, opening the hole up a little bit, drill bit or something like that, and just waller it around, um, which is what I do. But I guess I could make it a little bit larger. Uh, so anyway, this is NH71, build number one. This is the gilded movement. you got your sapphire glass there, uh, decorated skeleton movement, black chapter ring installed in there. You've got a yacht black PVD case with a tooth bezel and a Yachtmaster diver insert. This has a uh, little bit of a crown guard here. It's about a 43 with that crown guard, 45 out here with the uh, crown itself. Did a set of, I don't know, they're kind of like, I don't know what you'd call those. They kind of look like they're pilot hands because the bases are, are, are black to them and then the fronts are white. So and they kind of look like mariner hands, so a little bit of a little bit of both. Uh, <clears throat> milled black exhibition case back. Um, you've got I said exhibition, <laughs> milled flat case back. Definitely not an exhibition. Uh, be terrible exhibition case back. A little bit of protective cover here that's on that. So also black PVD. Um, this is on a super soft twenty millimeter strap. This is a very nice wax leather. Uh, with black stitching from Jonathan Gillespie over at Wristbound in a black uh, Cerakoted buckle. That is the build. NH71 number one. Click bezel on this. 120 click. So if you click it once, you're going to have to click it 119 more times unless you intended to click it. Um, automatic mechanical, you got a rotor back here you just can't see. Um, 41 hour power reserve on it. Back the crown, you'll, uh, back the crown off the crown tubes. It's going to kick out and then you can wind at that point. I don't know how long you need to wind these. I don't know if you want to just do it for five seconds. Um, that mixed with the rotor movement should keep your time throughout the day, just like what I normally say, but... Um, I don't know with this being a 41 hour power reserve versus what I normally work with on a 31 if the mainspring takes longer to compress so therefore do it for 20% longer you know instead of 5 seconds for that mix with the rotor movement uh, you know go 6 seconds and then if you want to make sure you're using all 41 hour your power reserve because maybe you're sitting at a desk or driving or you want to wind it up so that it's ready when you pick it up tomorrow uh, et cetera, et cetera. You know, I don't know if you're going to need to go a little bit longer than, than 15 seconds on the back and forth winding, but, um, they are still new to me. Uh, I just sit there and wind them. You can't overwind them. So I just wind them for a bit and put them down and they always last as long as I need them to. So, um, you'll pull it to the one and only click when you want to set your time. It's got a hacking movement in there. So it's going to stop. Okay. Google, what time is it? 5.43. Then when you're good, you're going to push it over and thread. And it's going to kick back up. And that is the build. If it's going to you, congrats. You got a sweet watch. You also got some sweet beads. The wife was able to match this up fairly well. This may come in a brown BVW box. It could come in a black one. I'm waiting on boxes to come in, and currently I've got one box for two watches. So I'd prefer to throw this in a silver box and throw this in that box. But if this one sells first, which it might, it's hard to say, or if that one sells first, one of them is going to get that box. So uh, 
That build is going to come with watch cleaner. That's good on all glass and metal parts. This is a foamer. So everything here in the center, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, along with a microfiber, which the watch will be wrapped in when you get it. This watch will also come with leather conditioner. This is good on all leather. So any leather you've got, if it's stiff or whatever, apply this on the front and the back, massage it, work it in, uh, remove any excess, and it will go back to being pliable. So you might not ever need it for this, but if you do, it is there. And, uh, and that's the build. So if that's uh, going to you, you're getting build number one from NH71, which is a gilded skeleton movement. Um, and you got the very first one. So, uh, and the very first one I've put in, this is the first one in a yacht case, right? Yeah, the other one I did was in a samurai case, the NH72. So yeah, so you're also getting the very first one in a yacht case. I don't know that I'll do these as much. I like to do 22 millimeter case. Um, overall, it's the same size as the watches that I normally use, but with 20 millimeter, the only problem is, is I have about 300 plus 22 millimeter leather straps, and I have about four uh, 20 millimeter. So if it doesn't match, I've got to order one on the spot, and uh, that's what I had to do. I ordered it thinking it was 22, but it's a 20. You won't really know. I mean, I guess you can kind of tell that it is a little bit thinner than the than the others, but uh, it was presented as a 22. So uh, learned a little bit on it. So uh, might use this just here and there. I'm just not don't have as much stuff to support the strap on it, and uh, I like to be able to have options and just sit there and look through and see what works the best, rather than going, hey, uh, do a light brown, and then they send it to me I'm like, ah, not that light brown. Uh, your pictures were one light brown, but it wasn't the light brown I was anticipating, and it doesn't quite go. I don't want to have those conversations, and that prompts me to buy lots and lots and lots of straps, uh, just so that I'm good, so that I can kind of cover anything that I want. And I'm not really set up on that on 20 millimeters. So you might not see this um, style build that often. You know, we'll, we might still have the movement and same kind of, you know, that kind of look. But uh, this case. So uh, just a little backup on backup information on that. So uh, this is the watch. If it's going to you, congrats. You got build number one um, for that movement and build like 1058, 1059, 1060, somewhere in there. Uh, I don't know how I have this numbered versus that. So uh, that's it, man. Appreciate you guys. And uh, if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks.